A guide to vegetarian soups. Think of your favorite soups. Maybe you love chicken noodle, minestrone, and clam chowder. But if you are a vegetarian or vegan, chances are you can't eat those anymore. Or can you? Here is a guide to vegetarian soups. Obviously, soups that rely on meat or animal ingredients for their main flavor components cannot be vegetarian. But you can sometimes make acceptable versions by replacing those animal products with other ingredients to mimic the textures and flavors of what you are leaving out. There are several types of soups. Here are a few of them, with tips on how to make vegetarian versions of them. Clear soups These are usually clear broths with small pieces of other things in them for texture. You can use a commercially prepared vegetable broth or vegetable soup base to replace chicken or beef broth in any recipe. But don't try to substitute with just water. You'll end up with salty water with stuff floating around in it. You really need to use a good stock for the complex flavor it offers. Cream soups Traditionally, cream soups are made with heavy cream, half and half, or milk. If you are a vegetarian, that will work out just fine. Some you can't try are cream of mushroom, cream of spinach, broccoli, or cauliflower. But if you are a vegan, you will need to replace the dairy products with an alternative. You can't try using soy milk or coconut milk instead. The higher fat content in coconut milk gives that richness that you sometimes long for in a cream soup. As an alternative, you can blend soups that have a lot of flavor into a creamier, smoother soup. That way you feel like you are having a cream soup, but it won't have any cream in it. This works especially well if you have potatoes or sweet potatoes in the soup because they blend into a velvety texture that is luxurious when you eat it. Chunky, hearty stews and soups Another type of soup is the chunky, hearty one, loaded with grains, pasta, beans, legumes and vegetables. These are wonderful served as main courses in and of themselves. I like to add some mouth-watering homemade whole grain bread and a green salad, too. Lentil soup is a perennial favorite, especially because you can use water instead of animal or even vegetable broth. The lentils cook down to create a flavorful broth by themselves. But if you add celery, carrots, onion, and garlic, you can boost the flavor even more. Lentils also pair well with just about any vegetable or spice combination. Some favorites are sweet potatoes, kale, and curry or sweet sour flavors. There you have a basic guide to vegetarian soups. They are not all that mysterious, and you can let your creativity run wild when you make them. Try some of the recipes on my blog for a start, or concoct a guide to vegetarian soups. Think of your favorite soups. Maybe you love chicken noodle, minestrone, and clam chowder. But if you are a vegetarian or vegan, chances are you can't eat those anymore. Or can you? Here is a guide.